quick recap of some of the main features, not all, but some of the main features of the adult skull. So we have frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, temporal bone, zygomatic bone, maxillary bone. As we look closer into the eye, remember NMLE, nasal bone, maxillary bone, lacrimal bone, ethmoid bone. When we look at the temporal bone, part of this leads into the zygomatic arch. We also have the mastoid process, the styloid process, external acoustic meatus. Then we get into the mandible, ramus, angle, body, mental protuberance, your chin. When we look at the anterior view, we have the superior orbital fissure. We have the optic foramen. You can see very easily the supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen, mental foramen, perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. We have the middle nasal concha, the inferior nasal concha. These are the alveolar processes of the maxillary bone. These are the alveolar processes of the mandible. And from an inferior view, we have the hard palate, which is made up of the maxillary bone and the palatine bone. We also can see foramen ovale, foramen lacerum, carotid canal, jugular foramen, foramen magnum, on either side of foramen magnum, we have the occipital condyles, these two smooth surfaces. And on the very posterior side here, this is the external occipital protuberance. And finally, the sutures. We have coronal suture. This one is on the crown of your head, coronal suture. We have squamous suture. We have sagittal suture, running right in the sagittal plane. And again, on the posterior side, you can see the lambdoid suture.